Hello and welcome to Hardware Learning. Today we're going to do the front sway bar of the car. The Flying Miata sway bar kit that comes with the Stage 2 VMAX Extreme Coilovers. This time we've got the NA sway bars, unlike the last time. First thing you got to do is get the uh, little under tray thing off. So that's a bunch of 10 millimeter bolts. We've shown you that a billion times, so we're just going to skip right past that and get to the sway bar action. Your little uh, air blow thing, air block, whatever they're called. What are those called? I can never think of the name. Air shroud. Come in here. So the air, the the uh, the shroud, the uh, you get that off. It's a bunch of 10 millimeter bolts. Then you come into the sway bar mount. Well, well maybe we should do the end link first. We should probably do the end link first. End link right there. Looks like about a 12 or a 13. Is it a 13? No one knows. Is it a 14? Is it a 14? Is it a 14? It is a 14 on the end link. Sway bar mount. 12. So we got 12 here. Shroud is a 10. And the end link is a 14. What's up? Your bolt nut off of the bolt. Now we gotta compress the shock a little bit to get the load off of the suspension or off the sway bar. So we'll just uh Slide a Rooney Rony on this this guy right here. Ooh. Just a little more. Oh, the whole car's lifting up right now. Okay. I feel like it's um What if we just undo the sway bar? Ooh, yeah, alright, so. We're gonna see if we can finagle that end link off once we remove the sway bar brackets. Oh, man. This stuff is just jimmied on there. Yeah, it's always hard to get it. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna do the same process on the other side and then see if we can get the end links off. We went ahead and took the wheel off to get a little bit more clearance with the bar, but. Uh, what you're gonna want to do is snake it out the driver's side. I don't know. That's what the guy at Flying Miata does. It gives you a little bit more room, I think, just based on all the piping that's you're snaking it through. We might actually want to go higher with the car. It's now that you're gonna want to have the car a little bit higher, give you a little more room to snake this puppy out of here, and organize some of your tools. You're not lost trying to put it back together. So Keith at Flying Miata says to go towards the driver's side. So we're gonna listen to the pro, bend some of our AC lines maybe. Oh, look at that. It goes out way easy that side. And that's why we listen to Keith. Oh, no. Uh, you got gloves so you can do it? You don't have any nitrogen gloves. Well, it's just really, really sticky is all. Big old bar. That show, and we'll get the brackets lubed up and slotted on there. It comes with new brackets because it's so much thicker. These OEM brackets are going to be too skinny to get on that pipe. Just like so. I just want to put one on there so it's on. The end link's on the outermost holes on the front bar and the middle hole on the rear. So we're gonna go out to the front bar, which is which is uh outer hole. It actually slots right in there kinda nice. Do the same on the other side. So let's get your uh all your mount ring brackets in and then the under tray back on. You don't want to torque the end links until you get the car on the ground. So you're going to need ramps to torque the end links. And I think you torque them to like 30 foot pounds. Double check me on that. Fly Miata has it on their website install instructions. So with that, you've got your new bars in and you're ready to rock and roll. Well, your new front bar at least. We'll show you the back in a little while. 